Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Oh, we... I don't know what to do. I recorded yesterday, and I recorded an Eden Run. Yeah, that's what I did. Random Ahoy! Okay, I don't think I've played this Hazel in a while. I feel like I've missed one or two characters. I think I've not played Samson in a while. I've not played Eden in a while. But uh, I've also not played Azazel in a while. Not specifically because of uh, the fact that he's not been on the list. It's just that uh, I haven't uh, been recording all that often lately. With all my things in life and such. Wire coat hanger, that's good. It's gonna get annoying, by the way. I know it is. What's more annoying is the fact that I just walked forward through that room. I'm kinda tired today, though, which is a staple of me recording at any time. Because, uh, I kind of. I kind of have been. Uh, it's a good item. That's, like, really amazing. But, uh, I kind of have. Uh, been. Or I was at a friend of the family's house the other day because we were we went out to cook out and eat and have a good time there. Let's, let's do it. I have eight. I have eight cents. And uh, no bomb, but uh, I would love to have that black candle. <clears throat> Which I probably won't be getting, which sucks. But let's shoot the poop and see what we get. Nothing from the poop. I can give away one. I can give away this soul heart. Fire was not good to me. Oh well. Not gonna get the black heart. Sucks, but it's life. I have the feeling we're going to get a lot of curses because of that, though, so, uh, let's be prepared for that. Gimpy, of course, chance whenever I take damage to drop a soul heart, <clears throat> and, uh, chance for enemies to drop half red hearts. Really good with Dark Bomb, really good with, uh, any other item that, you know, allows stuff to drop when you take damage, etc., etc. Watch out for that, because it's going to explode into, you know, red tears. Why? Okay. Little baggy's not worth it, ever. Don't ever take little baggy. So now I'm hoping for a D6 or a Perthro rune somewhere around here. Hey, you could have given me a health up. I would have loved the health up. That being said, Azazel's, you know, one of those. What the hell is with the. You. No. That being said, it's a bad idea to take the 9 volt because I can't take the uh, sharp plug and have it be usable, which uh, hopefully people, you know, point out or ask Edmund to fix or, you know, change with the... Uh... This is literally going to be a 1 or a... I can literally change the enemies whenever I want. That's hilarious. This item allows you to, uh, change the enemies in a room. It rerolls them to, like, any enemy whatsoever. No matter what floor they can appear on. And it's real dumb. Like, it's real dumb. It's 
really bad. Oh, I'm glad the game at least gave me some soul hearts. I really don't want to keep this spacebar item, by the way. At all. It's not a good spacebar item. Yeah, I figured that was going to kill me. I just don't want to deal with bonies. I was hoping this would have something in it. Could have had the black candle in it, which I uh, didn't have the chance to get in the shop earlier. I don't know if those are, if those guys are specifically random or not. Let's see what I get. <laughs> Take on these easy guys, and then the more annoying enemies I'll re-roll. Oh, you gave me a no you gave me one left of those guys. As or uh, as Azazel, I uh, you know I don't really care to use this item. It's not like this item's that hard to deal with. Wow. That lump though. <clears throat> that lump had it out for me. Definitely gonna need that uh, soul heart, and I definitely want mom's key, so. I should be able to get it? Depending on what I. I might not be able to, actually, not with just this amount of bombs. Oh! Mom's key. Less is now more, and we get two or er, two keys. Uh, chests will now drop more, and uh, ah, these enemies are kind of annoying. That didn't mean I didn't get more annoying enemies. Let's see what we can get here. Yeah, this is one of the problems, is that you can get lumps, like, here, and... Wow, I'm gonna lose this run just off my own, like, stupidity of playing, uh... Playing with the D20, or with the uh, D10, which you should never do. It's a bad item. Yeah. D10's a bad item. Don't pick it up. Don't play with it. It's not fun. Like, I would wager it is zero amounts of fun. Really? If your soul hearts. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I wish I'd taken that first. Why couldn't that have been the first, uh, chest? Had I been playing off camera, that would have actually been a reset right there, just because, uh... Actually, no. Because uh, I don't really need Spirit of the Night when I'm uh, Azazel. Because Azazel starts with flying. And he also starts with Spectral Tears and Piercing Tears, so. Oh, we have Curse the Maze. Because uh, it switched the starting room's uh, layout. Lucky Toe, one luck up. Pretty useless. It's an increase in gambling chance, too, so that's a thing but like like better gambling and luck up pretty useless in the general scheme of things in Isaac once again unless you get like multiples of luck up my apologies for anyone oh really ah, I should have known that would ha that was gonna happen I took a chance on that 
wanted to get into the uh, the shop for free and not have to, you know, pay a key to get in there. Especially with two bombs, because it's like, oh, I could get something good. Here's the health ups I wanted last time. Thank goodness for that. Hey! Decent soul heart uh, and red heart luck this time. Ramming speed. Huh? I'll take the speed up. It's also damage on con or it's almost it's also contact damage based on speed, which I don't know the actual like statistics of that. I just know it's real good and can come in real handy. This is uncanny. Like that really is uncanny, the fact that I fought greed twice. Like, in, 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 like, one run after another. And in the, like, the second floor, too, I think, so. Really odd randomization, uh, chances there. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, well. I really felt I was gonna take damage in that room anyway, because the trites are... <clears throat> trites are just weird. Trites have been weird since vanilla. It's just in vanilla they were weird because they were super homing and in uh, this one they're weird because they're super slidey as well as have their you know nice little homing capabilities okay that's another uncanny issue here you think we live in a valley I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, I've, got, I've got to blow up the fires to see if there's gonna be that kind of luck again. I don't want either of those, so I'm gonna take the soul heart and leave. Fistula. Ooh. Not that fistula is hard with this uh, setup, but. Especially since the. Uh, the chargers are, uh, or the chargers are at a certain, uh, oh, well this is happening, actually. As much as I like angel rooms, and I like the idea of using angel rooms with, uh, Azazel, because Azazel's already super strong and doesn't need anything from the devil room. Not that you need anything from the devil room, but I can't pass up. Or I can't pass up a, a black card every six rooms and Horror of Babylon. Okay, that's interesting to note that this is on here. Don't care. I'll like lose that black card for sure. Just to like just to lose it. Alright, so it'll be good to know that the uh, guppies pause there for any extra health ups I get. I can turn them into three soul hearts. They're much more useful that way. Uh, in this pl in this uh, setting. Still wish we had a golden bomb that just gave us an or, uh, a million bombs in one floor. Don't really care to, you know. I, I, I do care about that damage because it was random and, like, I don't think I could have really avoided damage unless I stood still. But you, like, you have to read that one specifically. Yep. Damage. Damage is, damage is here. You only really need one or two damage ups with uh, Azazel, though. 
ever. Still gonna need, uh, still gonna need some more, uh, items here. So I'm gonna go find the item room. I'm glad they still walk on spikes. I'm glad they're still that dumb. Whoop. See what's in here. Once again, the only useful thing is the soul heart. And that soul heart will come in handy. Bob's brain? No. Especially when I'm uh, Azazel. Probably the only item for Azazel that would be like a never. That's just because it's uh... You need to be super close range with him, so... Not being able to stick to that close range kind of sucks. Unless you get, like, the actual brimstone. Or enough range ups to uh, compensate. So I think that was it for the floor, actually. It was a curse of blind, so I couldn't really see much of anything else. I didn't get a red, or I didn't get a uh, health up to go with that uh, that uh, guppy's paw and uh, use it, which sucks, but is life. These guys are easy uh, when you have flight and when you have brimstone of any size. Oh wow! I thought I was I thought I was actually safe there. Bob's brain's good. Plus five bombs, they're all poison bombs. Or all my bombs are now poison bombs. Need to kill you quick. There we go. Greed is my, you know, worst mini boss. He's the one boss I can't really play against very well. And you go out of here and then you come back in and there's rocks. Happens with the secret room as well. Two prayers for the lost. Pop it now. Because I don't know how much health I'm at specifically. That was surprising. Pop that. Okay, so Black Dirty Jr. can't spawn anything or can't attack, can only spawn things. So I need to uh, get in this range and do that. Synth oil. Ceremonial robes gives me back my soul hearts and gives me one times damage up. Or a one plus damage up. And then move on to the next floor. Finally get a red heart. Oh wow. Didn't realize he was flying really. Well, this is going to be interesting. Yep. 48 hour energy is a good pill to, ha to know I have, though. Probably the only pill worth taking Little Baggy for. Little Baggy's just bad otherwise. Because you're, you know, stopping yourself from getting runes, which are amazing. I'll take Ghost Baby, there's no real reason not to. I remember you guys so fondly. Remember when I was killing you with like very low damage? Thanks to the D10?
sit here and get myself the full health. Thanks to the uh, Satanic Bible. Uh, and once again, nothing I want. This has been like a terrible set of shops. Oh well. Another golden key. Little haunts are annoying. I don't know why they give you those red hearts there. I wonder if those could just be any random old item though. Or if those are specifically hearts. Of any kind. Of course, because even specific hearts are or can be non specific. Don't care. Kill monster two pretty easily. Placenta. Let's see what I get in here. Oh, another guppy item. I'll take placenta now. Uh, because I'll probably end up giving the uh, health away. Uh, I'll move on, see if I can't get it, or if I, oh, I won't be able to get a, uh, I won't be able to get an arcade, but I will be able to, uh, just sit here and try to get golden chests, because I do have this golden key, which is an amazing find. It's always good to have a golden key. Whew. My apologies for the yawn. And also just because I could get that. Which has nothing of use to me. <laughs> Moving on. Make our way back to the boss room. Hmm. I do need to get rid of the uh, the health as fast as I can, though. The red health. Because I'm pretty much... Uh, I'm pretty much uh, overpowered, like, already as, or, uh, as Azazel. But I'm, like, an absolute destructive force as Azazel with the setup I have. As long as I have the uh, nothing but black hearts. I mean, look at this. I do a lot of damage with just like synth oil as one of my only damage ups. They won't go uh, past the spikes, which makes this room very easy. Pop the. Uh, Satanic Bible because that allows me to uh, keep myself at full health. So now I can give myself four Babylon, probably. Yep. What a horrible night to have a curse. There's no way I could use up 60 cents in the shop. But I guess I'm keeping the money. Even more money. I guess if I get money equals power, I'll be happy. I don't really care. Okay, that's a good, that's a good trinket. Allows it or uh, causes uh, more cards to drop, less of everything else. I think. Oh, of course, that's one reason I didn't want Rush into taking Placenta, but... I should be able to get rid of it this room, so... I should be able to get rid of it after this boss, hopefully. don't really care about the rest of the floor, to be honest with you. 
The shop was probably super greed. Come on. Spawn the spawn the hand. Spawn the hand. Come on. Jeez, I had to like not attack the hand. Yeesh. The wafer or dark bum? Wow. What a choice. Like all of the all of these items are like so amazing. I want to take any of them except for stem cells. The wafer makes it to where I would only take half damage. Dark Bum would just, like, keep me alive. And I have Gimpy. I need my little buddy. I need my little buddy. And I hate that little buddy. Just sit here and do major damage to him. Or to that thing. This boss will give me some trouble. Not a fan of Carrion Queen. She's kind of a butt. Like that. Wish I'd saved my strength card for this. Dark Bum's also really helpful here, by the way. Because he has a chance to, uh... Er, all these bosses have a chance to drop drops. Which means they can drop hearts, and then he can be happy. Loki, stop. Thank you. Not that hard to uh, be victorious with uh, Azazel in the uh, in the boss rush, though. So I'm not too worried. The only boss that really gives me or poses a threat to me when I'm as a uh, when I'm as Zell in here is carrying Queen. And that's only because I have such short I have a such small range. All the other ones can be taken down pretty easily. Kill everything here. I have just enough range to do this. There's a lot of chub uh, based enemies in the boss rush. I realize that now. You want to be careful about standing in one place for too long with the this way because mon or not because of the uh, monster too but if you are standing behind rocks uh, Gish will make things difficult for you not a problem Think that you think that Widow would be able to jump on uh, jump on rocks? The hollow, not a pain. That that usually gets rid of the heart. I don't know why it didn't get rid of the heart this time. Just saying, but that usually gets rid of the heart for the uh, bloat battle here. Gets rid of the heart and then the mask becomes like easy. Usually gets rid of the heart and the mask at the same time, but like the mask moved out of the way. You 
You two can quit spawning things at any time, and you can quit being a sniper. Do you have spectral tears and piercing tears? They're not even tears, you just have spectral shots and piercing shots. Piercing shots. Oh, I stepped onto the That's another reason Carrying Queen's an annoying part of this battle. It was because Carrying Queen will leave that poop and that poop will damage you. It'll also damage enemies. And you can use it to your advantage, but at the same time, it's, uh, kind of bunk. It might actually be a smarter idea to get rid of that guy here, rather than attacking the Fallen as much as I was. Fallen's not too hard of an enemy to deal with, and now I just have this head. Holy water. Yay. I didn't get a, uh... Didn't get a devil deal. I should be able to get this for, though. And if I'm not, then that just means that the, uh... That's a useless item. It doesn't do anything for me. Or, uh, but no, if it does, if, uh, if I don't get rid, or get to get rid of my health here, it's, uh, oh, wow, I did the stupid thing. I was gonna take damage either way. Two hearts, woohoo. But I do have the, uh, I do have the satanic bible to, you know, take damage like that and not worry too much about it, because I can get back that health. I have regenerating health right now. I have good health, wow, sources. I hate that room. I hate those enemies. Because they don't do, or they, you can't damage them, but they, like, will just fly around and get in your way and damage you. Very easily, too. Very, very easily. There we go, Dark Bomb. It's another reason I'm not really worried about taking damage, because I have uh, Dark Bomb. Dark Bomb usually gives more, uh, usually helps in the Soul Heart Department. That's a library. This is a library. Uh, definitely take this. Let's get a, another Soul Heart. Two more black hearts. Alright, so when I find the boss, I'm coming back here. Uh, the reason why is, or the reason being, because uh, I want to take the Book of Belial into the boss fight, so that I can have that devil room. And hopefully it's not a uh, red chest devil room, because that will screw me over. Wow. Oh well. Hmm. Doppels are so hilarious like this. Alright, now to come over here and grab Book of Belial. That's gonna be a uh, death con or Death or Conquest, or Headless Horseman, that I fight here. It's Death. We fought Death before in the boss rush. It wasn't that hard. It's not really that hard. The size is the worst part about him. But the Book of Belial guaranteed this Devil Room. And Sacrificial Dagger is a good pickup. Which will put me at Horror Babylon. Which means much more damage. Which is the entire thing I wanted. Do 
But now Sacrificial Dagger uh, is another orbital, so now I actually have a sweep of orbitals. Uh, two of which I got on that floor. The world. It's a vampire. All that good stuff. That makes me want to go into this curse room. Which I thought, thanks to that, uh, that one, uh, red chest, or those red, that, those red chests in that, uh, that red chest in the, uh, secret room. Oh, that's good to know. Uh, but I thought that, that would mean, oh, hey, I can, uh, oh, I don't really want you, but. play you for a bit there. I'll destroy you because you're not useful. Oh gosh. That's the terrifying part of him. Of a of, uh, dark bomb. Alright. So glad this isn't vanilla. Parabites and vanilla are now just like the most terrible thing ever. All right, and as you can see, not really wor have to worry about health. It's kind of uh, maximized thanks to uh, not only the uh, Satanic Bible but also uh, Dark Bomb. Isaac's fork is a bad trinket unless you have. Uh, just nothing but red hearts. It, uh, makes it so that... Or, it makes it so that, uh, kills will regenerate your red health. There's a reason this is like this. And not, uh, not attached to the boss room. That reason is either right here, or right here. What? That makes no sense. He lives! He lives! He lives and it wants to kill me. Not that hard of a fight. The fetus fight is actually pretty easy. I want another world card. Please give me another world card. I guess you can give me that too. Oh. I have Curse the Unknown too, which is uh, not fun. But as I've said, I'm not really all that terrified of my health. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. No. Get out of there for free, thanks to the chariot. Wow. Whenever I take damage uh, and the Polaroid pops up, I want to... Uh, Get in there and let Sacrificial Dagger do some damage. Isaac's heart makes it so that, uh, more hearts appear, which wouldn't be that bad. And I have a Jerun, so I'm not really too worried about things. But with Dark Bomb... Or with Dark Bomb, the, uh, Isaac's heart, or not Isaac's heart, but a child's heart could actually be really useful. Blow these up because they have a chance to drop soul hearts. Had to see if you wanted anything, little buddy. Yeah. Taking like one heart for one heart. I did not care. There. That room's dumb. Uh, 
Oh. <sighs> you take damage before you even, like, or before the foot even stomps down in that battle. Which is kind of annoying. Mm-hmm. Duke of Flies. I like this room. This room's peaceful compared to, uh, other rooms. Dark Bum trying to be super helpful. Once you get or once you get death off his horse, uh, he's not a big problem. It's just when he's uh, on the horse shooting sides that you that he's an issue. Of course, there you go, more red hearts, which means the Dark Bum will get to pay out more. I think the child's heart uh, drops uh, for hearts, though, are specific, but that really doesn't matter because I have the ability to, ch or to change specific heart drops into, uh, into, you know, soul hearts. And also black spider, or blue spiders, and red spiders, but... None of that matters when you, you know. I didn't mean to pick that up. There goes Horror Babylon. I, I, like, I just immediately picked that up on, like, instincts. Which kind of sucks, but oh well. And now I have to watch out because I can't use the Polaroid like I was using it. Makes me miss the days of got being able to go negative in Isaac. And being able to take your health into the negatives and only have soul hearts. Just so you could sit there and not have to worry about losing, uh... Horror Babylon and stuff. I'm not really worried about this fight. I'm just wor I'm just mad that I took that uh I took that health up. Move on to the next floor. And Jera rune it up. It makes my range a bit smaller, but oh well. Since I have the one or since I have the one health up, Miter, Tough Love. Yeah. Do it this way. Now my range has gotten even shorter, by the way. But I can fire a bit faster. Charm of the Vampire does the exact same thing as uh, Isaac's Fork, only a bit more, I think. The poop. We all know what the poop does. Just drops a poop every ground or every room, or allows you to drop a poop every or every room. Not having range against Dingle is kind of annoying. And I have plenty of damage. It's just I wish I had more. Uh, I wish I still had the Horror Babylon, which I could have taken. Uh, I could have taken the odd mushroom and not had to have worried about, you know, keeping more Babylon. Actually, no, because uh, placenta would have happened, so. You know, that. That health, or. That health up, I. You know. 
I'm perfectly fine with losing Horror of Babylon over because I also got damage up for it. Would love the soul. Holy butts. Everything here is evil. Gimpy is yet to activate. This entire time I've had it, it's yet to really activate. There we go. Oh my gosh. The monstros! Oh, I might want to back off a little bit. Be careful with those monstros! Okay, so that's not good. Oh, please don't. This fight's actually kind of easy. Uh, yeah, I have to, like, perfect blue baby here. Let's do it. Let's try to perfect blue baby. Whoop. I am lost right now, mofo. Uh-uh. You think I'm afraid of you? Oh, I should have been afraid of him. He walked into me. <laughs> That's alright. I got into like most. I got like most of his health done, and I wasn't really caring about that run. It wasn't as. It wasn't a. A. Uh, uh, the. It was an Azazel run, and uh, Azazel's not really that good. He's good, but like he's boring good. He's too powerful. He needs a bit of a nerf. You know, he's easy. He is the easy mode character. And he's the one with the lowest gla- er, he's the one with the lowest skill ceiling. Or skill ceiling, for sure. Uh, but that's gonna be all for today. I hope we got- I hope you all enjoy what enjoyed watching. Let me catch my, uh, mind and my thoughts before they run away from me. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until then, I will see you.